Did you know that 7.5 million people in the U.S. are affected by psoriasis and it's seen worldwide in about 125 million people? Well, August is National Psoriasis Awareness Month and today we're speaking with a doctor who is helping raise awareness and teaching us how to identify the disease. Welcome to Dr. Stephen Mahoney and Evan Mallett, psoriasis patient. Good morning. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me, what is psoriasis and what are the causes? Psoriasis is an immune-mediated uh, skin disease that is caused by mostly genetics. And uh, people have a predisposition to getting it. And things like stress or medications or uh, even alcohol or weight gain can cause it to, to flare. And what types of psoriasis are there? Well, there's five types, but the most predominant one is uh, plaque psoriasis. That's about 80 to 90 percent of people, and that involves large plaques that are on their elbows, knees, scalp, and other body parts. And doctor, can you tell us what are the triggers of psoriasis? Well, as I mentioned before, I think the, the main one that is hard to control is stress, and uh, also sore throat, strep infections, weight gain, uh, some medications, and these are things that patients may not even be aware that is, excuse me, is making their skin worse. So what are some of the treatment options for those who are suffering from psoriasis? Well, in the, old, in the days before, we had just topical creams and phototherapy, which is light boxes, and now we have a new uh, class of medicines called Biologic, with the most newest one called Salik. And these are, are treatments that actually target the inflammatory proteins that are circulating around in their body and causing these plaques. So it's very exciting now to have these new medicines. So that would be the latest treatment option for today then? The latest and the greatest? Yes, ma'am. It's <laughs> is, a, is it, it's definitely the, the latest and the greatest. It's, it's, it's a medicine that finally we can actually get about over a little over 50% of people completely clear of their, of their condition at 52 weeks, and that's exciting. We've never had those kind of treatments available for our patients until recently. Now, Evan, let's get to you. Tell us about your situation and what you've gone through with psoriasis. Well, I started with uh, psoriasis when I was about 13 years old, and it uh, started itself out as, as red, splotchy uh, skin uh, on my elbows and knees, and, and uh, shortly after it became more plaque psoriasis, where it was kind of scaly. Uh, um, and early on, I, I basically only had the uh, treatments of steroid creams or lotions to uh, alleviate some of that scaliness, but the redness was always there. And what kind of treatments did you go through? Uh, so, as I was saying, I started out with uh, more of the steroid creams uh, and lotions that uh, weren't very effective. They they helped out a little bit, but uh, it wasn't only it was only until recently when these biologics uh, came out, and I started in the uh, the Salik study that I was actually able to start seeing. Um, a lot more clearance of my skin and, and was able to be a lot more comfortable outside uh, and able to wear some short sleeves or shorts and, and not worry about it. Now, were there any side effects? Uh, and me personally, uh, during the study, I, I definitely didn't see uh, any, if, if any at all, uh, it would have been very minimal. Uh, I, I reacted pretty well to it. And gentlemen, where can we go for more information on what we discussed today? Uh, the best place to go would be Salik.com. That's S-I-L-I-Q.com. And that will go over, you know, how to access the medicine and what the medicine actually does and you know, treatment options like that. Well, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you for having us. Thank you.